Hello everybody, it's Saturday Zero, and today we're going to do a review on the Moonbeam Custom. Now this this originally released in GTA 3 my Moonbeam Customs white, just like the one I had in San Andreas. My first Moonbeam Custom, my first Moonbeam was um in GTA 3, but it was I think a blue one. I'm pretty sure, but as you can see, I got the custom edition, so it's got the suspension and era the suspension not bad i believe something i would drive in the snow i mean it gets the job done i mean it's a good car i wish i could sit in the back alone but there we go so you can sit in the back pretty fun Uh, you can use Gunsberg sweeper out this thing. Um, holy hell bringer. Grenades, sticky bombs, pipe bombs, tear gas, molotovs, unarmed. SMG. Assault rifle, special carbine, compact rifle. I'd probably suggest like a machine gun or something, but... We look in mean, pretty good car. Definitely very slow though, just FYI. It's rear wheel drive, so. Is this car for noobs? Definitely not. It's like debatably one, like this is a car that you buy if you're transporting people or because you got the machine gun. Mainly, I use it for my mafia jobs. If I'm transporting friends, or I mean, my friends are transporting me. That or the cartel jobs I'd be doing. But just to give it, I bought this to kind of just look cool whenever I'm being transported. So that, and I have the um, Alberni Primo Custom, which is also, also a pretty good mafia car. So this on the track is going to be trash. You can see interior is all custom and stuff. I mean, looking at this thing, I mean, we're not even going that fast. Like, handling's good. But when you go super slow, of course, the handling is going to be good. A little bit too much grip at this point, but. I like the spare wheel add-on, spare wheel add-on and the, um, the uh, headlight grill is pretty sweet. I take this thing off-roading a lot, and honestly, I mean, I've never had an issue. Even with the lower header tires, the fact that I could make this... Now, I have had issues with the suspension lowered, like... Yeah, as you can see with the suspension lowered, we kind of have a little bit less traction. Then it does higher, but oh yeah, we definitely have a lot less traction, especially on this dirt. We is just normally when, my opinion, if you're gonna off road with this thing, you want to have the suspension higher on dirt, so. You're just going to lose control, kind of like I just did. That was a little better. I 
This, as you could tell, this thing is not fast. I think you can do wheelies in this. Give me a second. Because it, it is considered a muscle car. You used to be able to do wheelies in it. Hold on, give me a second. Yeah, it's it's a muscle car, so it should be able to do wheelies. There we go. You just gotta hold it for a second. Oh god, that was close. Yeah, you can't do it with the suspension on, so. I think it fishtail pretty well. I'm gonna compare the Moonbeam Custom to the Rumpo Custom, so. It's gonna be a, a little bit longer video than normal. Oh God, dang, that was a hard hit. Yeah, no visible damage. That wheel definitely saved my butt, didn't it? No visible damage at all. I do like how this does have parking lights. I think that's pretty sweet. So we're going to go to Benny's Original Motor Works. Oh, come on, guys. Here's a man. Definitely the handling is an issue. Like, I thought the handling was well. I guess that's on dirt. It has good handling, but once again, no damage, which is good. Uh, if I could just get out of here without damaging my car, that'd be nice, too. Why is man in the road? Seriously, dude? The road. Come on. Heat these NPCs. Come on. No, 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 no. Okay, the brakes are really good. I'll give it the... It does amazing when it comes down to off-roading, though. You, you, you will see. Dude's in my way. Okay, we're going to have to go around. Still no damage. Hold on, wait. 
a little bit, okay. Actually, I don't think the Rumpo Custom is a fair competitor. We're going to do the Mini Vamp Custom. Rumpo Custom is just too better, too much better, but... This is probably like the Mini Vamp Custom, but... 900 to repair it? That's crazy. It wasn't even that damaged. Armor, brakes, chassis, bodywork. I like the side panel. Engine... Engine block, yeah, engine filter. Engine tunes, yeah. Block. Lost. That chrome tip explosives, yeah, grill. Chrome grill. Like the bullet grill. Okay, hydraulics. We got the best hydraulics. Interior. Trim. Trim color. Cream. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Yeah, nothing. Library. Why do I like that? I'm gonna go back to that actually. Yeah, we're gonna bring back the 90s. License, okay. I don't want Vapid, though. I want D-Class. There we go. Plate holder. Low and slow. <laughs> okay. Um, roof. We got the roof rack. Ugh. Roof extension looks good. Tailgate. We want spare wheel. Transmission. Yeah. Trunk. Jesus, do we really need that? How do it look on the interior? Yeah, I don't like that. I think the, we're going to stick with that. Turbo, we're good. Wheels, yeah, yeah. I mean, booger-wise, gets the job done. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. All right, we're, hold on, give me a second. Oh. Okay, there we go, I'm back. All right, let's go. I mean, it looks good. Bring back the 90s. It actually looks like a little RV, which I like, so. Is that a Presser Mark II? Oh, man. Man, I'm not even messing with you, bud. Let's not do this crap, okay? Oh, man. Mandy Spawn? I'm about to say, but we are not playing games here. No oppressor mark two is okay. I I do not feel like getting griefed right now.
Please don't grief me. Please. Okay. Like, please don't grief me, bud. Like, come on. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh. These AIs literally wreck into you on purpose, bro. I wasn't even near him. I wasn't even near him. And overreacting. Still no damage. You see me? Dude, I was going... Dumbass. AIs are actually dumb, bro. Okay, wait. We just, just press on the brakes. Just press on the brakes. There we go. Damn. Like I, like, I wasn't even going in his lane, and he pulled into mine. Like... You got a hit. I hope you're the guy I hit. I'm about to pit run over you if you are. See, even I can't keep up with him. And hold on. It's bad when you can't keep up with AI traffic. Like. Oh my god, bro. Still no damage. This ain't gonna pass the noob test. This isn't even going to be close. If you can't keep up with AI traffic, how are you going to keep up with the cops? More like one of those Airstream RVs. The silver. Or chrome. My bad. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay, 360. I just pulled that off. It was going to take me like two years to accelerate again. Come on, come on, faster, faster, faster. You know the cops are going to be ready, bro. They're going to be ready. Okay, he's out there. Bro, stop. Let's get all the money, bro. Give me all the money. Give me all the money. Is the dude dead? Yeah, he's dead. This damn cash over I'd be stealing, bro. We gotta get a head start on these cops, bro. No, never mind. It's too late. It's too late. Ah, right, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. It's over. They're faster than me. This isn't fair. I have to actually pit maneuver a cop, bro. Come on. Kill him. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. No! It failed, bro. It failed. <laughs> it failed the noob test. Uh, it, like, how did he get in front of me? That's crazy.
it, okay so that right there customization options okay it's gonna get a d like literally d tier customization options are really the only thing this thing's got for it and it looking good the d tier Next is the minivan custom, which I don't know why why we couldn't just get the ballista back, like the original ballista. I don't know why. I don't see why we couldn't just get the original ballista back. So you just name it the main event. Because the ballista originated in GTA 3. This is practically the ballista. Dumbass. Look, he already scratched it. Seriously, man. This car is a lot slower. You definitely tell the acceleration is worse than the Moonbeam. Looks wise, oh, I'm gonna have to give it to the Moonbeam. I don't know, just the Moonbeam just looks better, in my opinion. A little slower i don't even think you could burn out in this thing it's how underpowered it is of course you got the suspension oh my god bro a oh, bro stat off-roading wise i mean it's it's it can off-road pretty good Oof. I mean, this suspension definitely can off-road. I think the off-roading is a little better than the Moonbeam itself, actually, surprisingly. If it could get up the hill. So Moonbeam has a little bit more power to it. Yeah, this thing has no power under those rear wheels. Actually, I think it's front wheel drive is what I'm looking at. Okay, actually, I think this is all-wheel drive. My bad. Hold on, let's see. Let's see if it's all-wheel drive. We'll see. Minivan Custom. What is the drivetrain of the Minivan Custom? What is the drivetrain of the Minivan Custom? It's all-wheel drive. Uh, I always thought it was rear-wheel drive, but that explains why it can't do burnouts and stuff. But this does not... Okay, you can see the rear wheels moving, but... This definitely doesn't explain why it can't get up a simple hill. How are the lights busted? Like, that's crazy. Get up the hill, bro. You're all-wheel driving. You can't get up that. 
But I get you don't have like that much traction, but still. Right, there we go. That's not even the traction, like. I mean, when you look at this, like, it's the we I understand the wheel. I got low rider wheels on this thing, but that's not an excuse. I really, like, it's just very underpowered. I mean, for a car, I mean, compared to the Moonbeam, this car can't even probably, I mean, it struggles to pull itself along is how underpowered it is. Like, the engine is way too small for this car. You, I mean, even remotely having it all-wheel drive, that's still putting a lot of stress on this poor little engine. Just the systems. It, this car is just too heavy for the engine. I mean, there's no way I'm escaping the cops with this. Off-road handling is amazing. It's the speed, uh, speed on and off-road. It's just... The Moonbeam, uh, the customizations and the off-roading, that's what's going to give it a D+. Plus. Actually, I don't think there's such a thing as a D+. Plus. We'll just give it a D. So. This thing isn't even better. This is a worse, in fact. I don't think it's possible to actually wreck this thing. I mean, I mean spin out wise. We'll try. Like it's not even that fast. Like it is not fast enough to spin out. She is way too slow. We don't even need to test it on here. Like, I don't see a point in doing this. We'll test out the Rambo Custom because this, these both of these cars are disgraces right now. Y yes. Now. Both of these cars are nothing but disgraces. Yeah, I I can't even I can't even anymore. Oop. Look at the, um, not bad. Oh, it looks like my radiator is damaged. Yeah. Whatever. You can still do the same stuff as you can with the, the minivan. I meant the Rumpo, so. I think the good thing with this is the fact that you can um, drive with the doors open. The doors will rip off, though, from time to time. Well, I mean, we could try that, to Bro, stop. We're going to rob this gas station here. I don't feel like driving this slow piece of junk all the way over there. Oh, my God. Don't look at me like that, fool. Still, that barely little damage for that hard of a hit. That's impressive.
I feel like I'm not getting power in my turns, like, this. if this thing, like, lacks power steering. Like, this is, the handling is a little off. Like, I have to e-brake, I'm like, oh my god, bro. This is a, oh, the gas station's over there. Sorry. See if we could by chance get a, um, I need a refill on my damn can. Nothing here, nothing here. Let's see if I got anything. Oh, it's refill. Is it refilled? No, it's at zero. Let's see if I can refill it. I, I don't know how to... Do I actually have to buy my... I have to actually buy money to refill this thing. Bro, stop. This is a true pop mini moon. None your business. Boop, 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 boop. Emotional damage. Why do I get three stars? Like, if you kill one cop, you automatically get, like, three stars. If you kill, like, a citizen, you get two stars, right? But if you kill a gas station person, you get... No, even killing a citizen, you get one star. If you, if you kill a person from a gas station, you get three stars? It's just one person, and I robbed them, too, so. I, I should get two stars, actually, not three. I shouldn't be having support hellos on me. Damn, bro. Bro, stop. I can't get up the hill. I actually have to shoot my way out of this, bro. No, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Do I have f f flat tires? Ain't no way they're shooting at me right now, man. No, my tires aren't flat. I don't think they're fast enough. I don't actually they are flat, but I don't think this car is fast enough to blow tires. Do I have bulletproof tires on this thing? Bro, stop. No, I did blow tires. Oh my god, no, 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 no. I only have one tire. I can't control this car. Great. I was about to lose them too. I can't lose them. They're going to shoot me dead. No, bro. I, you already lost, nigga. You already lost. The hell you think this was, bro? Like how they're all going crazy, bro. The customization options are the same as the Moonbeam custom as well, just if you guys are wondering. Oh, no, not a... Oh, great. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. No! Damn. That one was for Ukraine, bro. I was trying to get away for Ukraine.
just more money you have to spend. I like how she fixes a car for me. Uh, you know, screw this car. Piece of, piece of junk, bro. Piece of junk. Piece of junk. Fuck this car, bro. Piece of crap. F. Like, literally F, bro. Horrible car. Like, can't even pass a noob test. Time for the Rumpo Custom, which I'm pretty sure is a lot better than both of these. I mean, customization's okay, but, like, so compared to the, the, um, the Moonbeam, I mean, the Moonbeam can at least somewhat get away from the cops. It has somewhat of a, uh, I mean, the customization's really is what's going for it, and it's good looks. The off-roading is pretty good. The, um... Minivan Custom, it... I mean, it's got the same customization as Moonbeam. Only issue, really, is it's slower. Yes, it's all-wheel drive. you think that would make it accelerate a bit faster, but apparently not. Um, not as good as the Moonbeam. It doesn't look as good. Um... Really, the only thing it's got going for it is its off-roading capability. And it's just, I mean, if you're a noob, it's not worth it. Like, that is the biggest waste of money to possibly get. So, so we're going to try Rumpel Custom. This one has bulletproof windows. I mean, it, it it's a real booger. Okay, let's take a look. Come on, come on. Break, break, break. Right off the bat, I mean, it is a little bit hard to steer. Because it's so big. Right, we take a look at, I mean, it's not, it doesn't, it, it looks pretty good for a van. You, yeah, I think you can see more passengers. Hold on. You'd think you'd have a third row back there, but apparently not. I mean... You could probably put four rows in this thing, but I don't know why we choose not to, and we just hang up from us. I don't know why cars don't have a third row in GTA. Like, you should be able to just access it, but let's test this bad boy out. Still relatively slow. But definitely a lot faster than the boom beam in. Yeah, definitely a lot faster. Oh, I love the lights on this thing. That's that's a plus. Traction is amazing. I don't even know why we're testing it out of this track. I mean, there's, this has no downforce whatsoever, so... Anything would flip over before it even like loses traction, so and that was with the e brake, so the e brake turn. And this thing is all this is a nice van. I mean obviously I mean I don't, I mean, this looks more to me like a a Chevy, but I guess they're going to call it a, a, a Dodge, so it looks more to like a Chevy to me, but that's just me. Let's go to Pan Spray and look at the customizations. Can this do wheelies? Nah, it's too big. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
emotional damage. It just it struggles turning handling wise. Out of all these all of all of the ones I've looked at, I think this has the worst handling. Yeah, this definitely has the worst handling out of all of them. It has the better top speed, but definitely the worst handling, so. We're going over 100, which is definitely a plus. You know the off-roading on this thing has got to be superb, though. Probably the bit, one of the best off-roaders. Now, yes, it has off-roading tires and not low-rider tires, but still. With the suspension on this thing, you know, it's just, it's got to be a lot better. Emotional damage. Armor, okay, brakes, yeah, engine, yeah, explosive, whatever, horn, yeah, whatever, lights, you know. Plate. Respray, yeah, whatever. Crew album. Let's get some of that crew album on here. I wish I could choose, but we'll just put it there. Um, suspension. I like the suspension on it. Stock, so. Turbo. Wheels, yeah, whatever. Windows. We got limo. So... Customization wise, it's horrible. It really is horrible. Customization wise, so. Um, give me a second. Oh, horrible customization wise. Wish you could do more, but, and you just got the stock customization, so. Where's everyone at? Okay. He's... Is he off the... Ri oh, he's in his hangar. Okay. See if we could J-turn this thing. Yep. Man, it's got that, so... So, definitely a, a D on the customization. Actually, F tier custom. Now, F tier is when you can't customize it at all. So, D customization. So, I feel like you could should be able to do more with this thing. Looks like we blew a light out. Handling is a little off. Top speed is the best out of all of them. I, seriously, dude? I don't think. I mean, it's a good car. Don't get me wrong. It The windows could take four shots from a pistol. I'm pretty sure, but... In fact, we're going to test that out real quick. And this is a pistol MK2. One, two, uh, uh, missed it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, ten shots. Technically eleven. One more would have broke it, so. Come on, guys. Yeah, that window had a break. Okay, so yeah, t 11 shots. And that's a pistol in MK2, so.
Definitely easy to drive in first person mode. Everything's up close. Looks good, you know. Oh, <laughs> uh, great. Here we go. Another handling issue. Like, that, I should have made that turn easy. I'll wait for him to leave. Let's see if we can escape. I, I highly doubt it. Let's see if we can outrun these cops first. Okay, we got a cop right here. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I mean, not too fast. Jesus, bro. Definitely faster than them, though. So, that's definitely... Yeah, we're leaving them in the dust, so... Good job there. It's just test off-roading ability. Oh, my God. This is a good Mafia vehicle, too, so... All black. Dumb trees, dumb trees. Air freight? I'm not even gonna. Okay, so that is gonna get. I'm gonna give that a B minus, actually. Definitely a. Nah, a C plus, because handling's a little off, but off roading, it passed the test. A noob would use this car. A noob would be great using this car. So, I mean, it's past the, the noob test. So, I mean, I would recommend for a beginner, definitely a Rumpo Custom. Out of all those cars I showed you, definitely the Rumpo Custom. Why are you doing air freight cargo and then you leave in the middle of a mission? He must have messed up. That's what happened. The brakes definitely suck, but that will be it for today's video. Next video, we'll be comparing the Rumpo Custom to the Rumpo. So.